Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start by building on top of Linux from scratch. So as I said before, I started with Linux from scratch, just the basic Linux from scratch, all the way up to the end, complete. And what I've done here is I've booted the live CD um, because I need to put some tools onto Linux from scratch to allow me to access it remotely to build it up because we've only got a text uh, interface. Uh, there's no GUI at all. So what I'm going to do is go through Linux from scratch instructions and beyond Linux from scratch to um, get it in a position where we can boot it and access it remotely. So what I should do is just jiggle these around. Let's put that over this side actually. Make more sense. Uh, put this over here. Right, why is that not over? That's better. Alright, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. So I'll go to the Linux 11.3. Okay, so there's my videos come up on Google. So those are the ones you want to follow if you've not built Linux from scratch 11.3 before or if you want to follow the videos. Um, basically, if you follow them from beginning to end, you get a working Linux from scratch system and then come back here and um, carry on. Uh, as I say, what I've done is I've booted a live CD so that I can mount that Linux from scratch CD in, and get into the true again to install um, what well, is actually a single package, which is OpenSSH to get remote access. So I'm at the Linux, uh, sorry, the Gen 2 live CD prompt. I'm going to become root and I'm going to follow the Linux from scratch instructions to again mount the virtual file systems that we did originally. So I need to first of all export LFS to equal MNT LFS. I need to create that directory because it won't exist because this is a live CD, uh, yeah, live CD that's been booted. Let's look at the disk layout. So what I've got here, the way I've built it, is I've got a boot. In fact, yeah, if you haven't built Linux from scratch, this might be worth knowing how I've laid this out. Um, I've got a boot partition. I've got a swap partition of just one gig. It's probably way over the top from what's needed, but it's there if it, if, if it is ever needed. I've got a 32 gig partition for the Linux from scratch system. Again, it's probably way over the top, but I'd rather have a bit of extra space than no space at all or run out of space. And finally, I've got the remainder of the disk, which is a single partition, which is going to be used for recordings and 665 gigabytes. That's probably about maybe roughly about 100 hours of HD um, recordings, roughly. Uh, it, it's not a particularly great deal. Uh, might, be, might be a bit more than 100, actually, but it's uh, you'll get a few recordings on there, but you'll find that you run out of space quite quickly when you start recording series and things. Um, right, so that's the layout I've got. So I want to start um, mounting these before I mount the virtual file system. So I'm going to mount the root... onto the Linux from scratch partition. I'll mount the boot partition. Will I need that? Not sure. I'll leave that for the moment. Um, so that's the root partition of the Linux from scratch 11.3, which you can see there. And in fact, I can do cat on the etc LFS release. Uh, I'll just put that in. And you can see it's release 11.3, so that's correct. So I'll start mounting these virtual file systems. OK. 
okay. I won't bother doing that. And then I'll go into the truth environment. Okay, I'm in. It says I'm in truit. And what I'm going to do now is to get another tab up and look for BLFS 11.3. to get the instructions to install OpenSSH, which is that one there. So I believe, uh, do I install this again or is this? No, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through some of the packages on, well, quite a few of the packages on Beyond Linux and Scratch to build up the system so it's fit to receive Myth TV. Uh, there's quite a number of packages that need to be installed because basically we effectively need to build up a GUI system. But throughout the build, I'm going to be doing the minimum um, required to get the system going. And that includes things like testing. Um, I may not do some testing. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I'm, uh, sorry, I may actually do testing. But a lot of the optional... Uh, packages I'll be leaving out. For example, this Mick Kerberos is not needed um, in in a Myth TV environment. And then Linux Pam, I think I think I might actually install that. Come to think of it, but a lot of the optional packages or um, you know extra packages and things I'm not going to be doing because we're just going to be building a nice lean system uh, purely for one function and one function alone. And that's to run Myth TV. There's there's very little point in installing a lot of the extra things. Um, so I'm just going to check on my list to see if I do install Linux Pam. I don't think I even bother installing that. Oh yes, I do. Okay, install Pam. Right, I actually installed it quite late on. So for that reason, it means that, uh, let's see what dependencies Pam has got. And again, um, as I said before, um, this is going to be me winging this a little bit because I've built this for older versions of Linux from scratch and an older version of Myth TV. Um, so th some things may change from the notes I've made or something may break all of a sudden that's unexpected because maybe another package needs to be installed or something needs to be installed differently. Yeah, I'm going to have to change the order that I've made notes of things to be installed, possibly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to remember to, let me just make a note to rebuild OpenSSH, because we'll do install PAM later on. So I'll just put that there, reinstall OpenSSL. Okay. Sorry, not OpenSSL, OpenSSH. Okay, so yeah, so at the moment I'm just going to install a basic, quick and quick and dirty um, OpenSSH just to give us access remotely, which we can then easily do the rest of the building rather than having to build in the troop because the troop can cause some problems, especially with some tests. So let's go to sources. I'm going to make a directory called BLFS. CDBLFS, and we've got wget, have we? No. So what I'm going to have to do is get a new tab, become the root, change into mount LFS, uh, sources, BLFS, and download it from here. So let's copy that link. Paste it into there. So at the moment I'm ignoring these dependencies, which basically is only going to be Linux PAM. Um, I'm not going to install packages specifically for tests. If the tests break because that package is missing, then so be it. And it's no point in installing something just purely for tests. So we'll go through and do these functions now these commands rather. So 
so I'm copying all these in one go because they've got these double ampersands to chain the commands together. Oh, right, okay, I'm in the wrong. Now that's a schoolboy error. I'm actually on the live CD, not in the truth. So let's do these again. Right. That's okay. Now these should work correctly this time without saying they already exist. Okay, that's good. So now we run the configure command. And, oh, yeah, the center click on this mouse is a bit dodgy. I have to press it really hard and then sometimes it double clicks. So I might have to do a lot of right click paste. Right, I'll just check to see if there's any other options I should be setting here. Right, we're not using PAM at the moment. X auth, yeah, we will be using that because we'll be setting up X windows. No, so that's fine as it is for the moment. So the next time we build this, it'll be with different. Um, right, okay, let's get my head together. Need to extract this first, of course. And let's recall that command. So this is a laptop drive on here, 5400 RPM laptop drive, so it's going to be a little bit sluggish, a spinning drive. Um, you'll notice some pauses, whereas if you're on an SSD, which is probably the ideal hard disk for Myth TV, for the system, um, you won't get any pauses, but as I say, this, this, for this demonstration, it is a spinning disk. The ball with the odd pause, but it, it's still it's still fine. Um, you'll obviously get fewer pauses with a SSD. So let's get that compiling. I haven't got it make flags set, so I'll specifically set the number of threads to compile in parallel. Um, that is one thing. If it's possible to have two disks in the Myth TV, one for the system and one for the recordings, because again, you don't want the recordings to be interrupted because the system's got to write some system logs or something like that. So it's highly recommended to have a, a separate um, drive for the Linux system where Linux and Myth TV reside, and then another disk purely for the recordings. That's much preferred over to what I've done, have a separate partition on the same disk. And in fact, I have got an, an SSD for my system disk, so that doesn't experience any delays. Um, and then just a hard disk for the recordings, which is more than sufficient. I never get any interruptions with that. So that's compiled. Um, let's run the test, but it's likely not to complete correctly because as, as you saw, one of the packages for complete tests is missing. Um, but it's always good to know what's going on with the tests. Um, there's a chance that it could skip the test because it hasn't got that, rather than just failing test because it hasn't got that package.
Okay, so that's finished testing. Took a little while, but um, it's just a cursory test really to prove the system's running. We'll actually be rerunning those tests when we install it fully, and you'll notice I didn't install the SCP programs as it suggested, so it could have, well, it looks like it skipped anything it couldn't do, because um, everything else seems to have passed okay, so that's that's really what we want to see at this point. So I'm already root, I can just go ahead and install everything by selecting all these commands, pasting them in. And that looks like that's worked fine. Um, there's no reason to change anything. Um, it says to disable root via root login via SSH. Um, I'm actually specifically enable that at the moment because we'll need that when we reboot into the system proper via this SSH we just installed. So let's change that to yes and when I've set up a normal user and given it uh, root access um, probably turn that off then, won't need it anymore. So let's leave that for the moment. Um, there's details there about logging in without a password, uh, won't bother with that. Um, and PAM support as well. Yeah, it says about extra configuration with PAM support. So when we've enabled PAM support and rebuilt this, we'll have to ensure that that's completed. So all we need to do is to run the install script. But first we need to grab that. So let's copy that link again in the other tab. Download it. Okay, uh, go back and we can just delete open SSH and extract the uh, BLFS boot scripts. And I won't delete these because there are a couple of other things we need to install from this, so there's no point in deleting it. Make install. SSHD so that will ensure that will run boot up we can start it now so yeah that started fine so we should be able to access that um, in fact, I can't. In fact, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have started it because there might be one running already. But uh, with Gen two, but um, I won't try to access that. But yeah, that's all we need to do in this part. So all we need to do now is just to shut this down and reboot the machine. Uh, in fact, let's do it properly. Let's come out of that. We need to now exit the true environment, so we'll go to the end here. Reboot the system. So we'll log out, so control D, and we'll unmount all these systems. Dev is, def is still busy. So there's still something there, is it that mount point, has that not worked? Try that command again. Okay, let's look at mount, see what it says. Okay, not sure why it's not unmounting. No, 
I'm not sure. So we'll just have to reboot without that. Which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, I'll reboot now and in the next video we'll start off with the actual proper installation. So that this has just been to get access, remote access into the machine. Just to ease the um, building up of all the packages we need for this TV. So, yeah, I'll just do a reboot here. And we'll carry on in the next video.